Hello, so today I received my first perfume subscription from Scent God. This is an Australian perfume subscription. And my first perfume subscription ever. It comes with a small black velvet pouch. Reminds me of the old pouch of Avon's um, rollerball perfumes back then. So let's check out the carry case. So the case comes in five colors now and I chose gold. I like the smooth, sleek design of the case. For this size, you should have 140 spray and should last you for about 30 days according to their website. The subscription is for $19.95 with 25% off on your first perfume. So that is for the regular or designer perfumes. And they have premium subscription as well for $26.95 for niche fragrances and sometimes those luxurious designer fragrances. I like how you just twist to reveal the nozzle instead of pulling it off like the traditional way. It took me a while to figure it out though, but I think it's cool that way. And the first perfume that I chose is Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. Also my first perfume from the brand, so never tried any Kayali perfumes before. I got interested particularly with this because of the notes. It has two of my favorite nuts. Hazelnut and pistachio, of course, which is the star of this perfume. Plus, it has whipped cream, ice cream, marshmallow, cotton candy. For a gourmand lover like me, it's such a dream. Though it lacks a chocolate, but it didn't stop me from testing this perfume. So, first impression. The opening, I did not expect that I'm getting a familiar scent. It's kind of like sugary sweet, like pink sugar by Aquilina. For a second there, opening is like a caramelized sugar similar to pink sugar. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what I'm getting mixed with Britney Spears' fantasy. Very sweet like vanilla cupcake yet fruity, but without the kiwi scent, which I hate from Britney's fantasy perfume. At first, I'm kind of disappointed because I'm thinking if this is the only scent that I'm getting because I have high hopes for this perfume from Kayali. Not to mention the price, which is quite expensive. But after a few minutes, it changes into something sweet but a little spicy, raisinous. I bet it's from the cardamom because it's quite familiar on most men's sweet perfumes. Something that comes to my mind is Dolce & Gabbana's the one, the men's version. From the opening to this time, I'm not getting any hazelnut or pistachio vibe yet. And then after a few minutes, I feel like I'm getting a lot of layer or different scent from this perfume, which is nice. This time I'm getting a little bit sweet, yes, musky or powdery scent. Remind me a little of um, hypnotic poison. Not the dry down of hypnotic poison, but that part where there is a powdery yet very sweet, musky scent. Which I'm not a fan of that scent as well. I don't know when I'm getting the good part of this perfume. By the way, I'm not getting any of the floral notes in this perfume. Some people said that it's more floral to them, but on my nose, I'm not getting it. Which I'm happy because I'm expecting to get more gourmand from this perfume. Now, after half an hour to an hour, finally, I'm at the best part of this perfume journey. The muskiness, the, it has toned down a little, it becomes a soft, powdery scent, almost relaxing. I really like that kind of powdery scent that I'm getting, but it's still very sweet. But finally, it's no longer that head-inducing kind of sweetness. I would say it's a luxurious type of um, gourmand scent I'm getting. And finally, I'm getting the nuts hazelnut which is my favorite it's like a chocolate hazelnut kind of scent it's almost like nutella i like those types of chocolatey scent i can't stop smelling my wrist at this time i don't know if i got the cotton candy but i don't mind because i don't want this perfume to smell more like a candy because we have a lot of celebrity perfumes that smells like candy already as for the longevity, it actually lasts long on my skin. I would say it's more than 5 hours, although the projection is quite low, even the ciliage. I have to spray only the opening. You could smell it a lot. It's quite strong, but after that few minutes, it's almost like skin scent. But longevity, it does last long on my skin. Well, this perfume makes me want to explore more Kayali fragrances. I've heard a lot of good things about the brand. So you've come to the end of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.